insist on me Holy Ghost insist on me Till I look like you Holy Ghost insist on me Insist on me Holy Ghost insist on me hmm. Till I look like you Holy Ghost insist on me Insist on me Holy Ghost insist on me Till I look like you Holy Ghost insist on me <laughs> Insist on me Holy Ghost insist on me mm. Till I look like you Holy Ghost insist on me mm. Insist on me Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Till I look like you Holy Ghost insist on me mm. Insist on me, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, till I look like you, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, insist on me, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, till I look like you, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, insist. Insist on me, oh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, till I look like you, oh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, insist on me, oh, insist on me, till I look like you, till I look like you, oh. Insist on me, oh. Insist on me. Impress on me, Balada. Till I look like you. Till I look like you, oh. 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 Insist on me, Jesus. Insist on me, oh. Insist on me, Lord. Insist on me, oh. Insist on me, Lord. Insist on me, oh. Insist on me, oh. Insist on me, oh. Till I become like you Till I become like you Lord Till I become like you Lord Till I become like you Till I become like you Till I become like you Till I become like you
That's the reason why we are here. That we will come from to the image of the firstborn son. Hey. Holy Ghost, come for me, come for me. Holy Ghost, come for me, come for me. Holy Ghost, come for me, come for me. Oh. Holy Ghost, come for me, oh, come for me. Oh. Holy Ghost, come for me, come for me. Holy Ghost, come for me, come for me, oh. Holy Ghost, come for me, come for me, oh. Very hard, it is easy, very hard, it is easy, very hard, it is easy, Come for me, Come for me, oh. Holy Ghost, come for me, come for me, oh. Holy Ghost, come for me, come for me. Samuli Kigidia, Samunaga la Kungade, Kungade Koyne Menev, Ebu Kigidi, Amuno Tigida, Amuno Kukayane Monoyade, Sonia Tengo la Kaya, Ezo Siki Brida, Yadomel, Samula Yakomen, Samago Kuti, Idibiano Kukitale. Esi si buni, edu kunga ya kadiye, esa mama le kudiye. Holy Ghost come for me, oh! Elas kama bola ko, emete pa buta te bola ko, ya dan pa bola ko. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy Ghost come for me, come for me. Come for me, come for me, oh. come for me, oh. My strength is failing me. Come for me, oh. Distractions call my name. Oh, call for me, oh. Ah, yeah. Distractions here and here. Oh, come for me, oh, my, my strength is failing me, oh, come for me, oh, hey, Holy Ghost, come for me, oh, come for me quickly, quickly come, quickly come, quickly come, quickly come, quickly come for me, oh, quickly come for me, oh. Quickly come for me, oh! 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 Can you cry out to him? Can you cry out to him? Samuel, let him run, Cascada. 
Oh, come for me, oh, my strength is failing me. Oh, come for me, oh, I cannot do it on my own. Oh, come for me, oh, I'm getting weary now. Come quickly, come. Come quickly, come. Come quickly, come for me. I am to bigger sky. Come quickly, come. Come quickly, come. Come quickly, come for me. I am to me. Hey, come quickly, come. Come quickly, come. Come quickly, come for me. I am to me. Come quickly, I am. I am. I am. Ayata basuka mpala Sete bakaska Eruta da si sampai Beri ando sile Ay mamomina Abe nipa vahata Atadaita 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 Ay parata Sete fende Sete vadia pala Ay 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 paita 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 Come for me, Come for me, Come for me, can you cry out to him? Come for me, 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 Cry out to him. Saka braka tua mana. Sebe me kula. Just to see your face. And to know your ways. My desire is to walk with you my savior. On this holy journey until I am no more. Mm. My desire, my desire, <clears throat> my desire is to walk with you, my Savior, on this holy journey until I am no more. My desire, my desire, oh, my desire is to walk with you, my Savior. On this holy journey until I am no more My desire My desire My desire is to walk with you my Savior On this holy journey until I am no more Just to see your face And to know your ways my desire is to walk with you, my Savior. On this holy journey until I am no more. Just to see your face and to know your ways. My desire is to walk with you, my Savior. Just to see your face.
this is a critical moment in the life of the church of Jesus on earth. Critical in the sense that it is Africa's time of recovery. The outlook critically suggests that the African church at this point in time is to step in to the front lines to bring perspective, direction, and leadership to the global church. Most of the investments that God is going to be bringing across in this season will be directed deliberately at the African continent in order for the potential of the church in these lands to be adequately mobilized and for God to have the opportunity of filling the gap of missionary manpower to orchestrate a movement of grace that will bring down Jesus. These days are critical kingdom days and that's why God is beginning to sound the trumpet and to declare the marching orders to as many as incline their ears to hear what the spirit of God is saying to the church do not attend to the issues of this conference lightly God is hoping to conscript his functionaries that will do damage to the kingdom of darkness. You know, Brother Theophilus just sang, my desire is to worship you, my Savior. I'd like us to sing that song one more time before we proceed to pray. My desire is to walk with you, my Savior, on this holy journey of my That is our prayer tonight, O King of Kings. We ask that you will find occasion to break through in this meeting, to go beyond the voice of the preacher, to go beyond the sound, the tune, and the song, to cause our spirit man to make contact with the reality that is domiciled in Christ Jesus. That our eyes might be enlightened. That the scriptures might open to us. And that our minds will be quickened to contemplate the things that are in heaven where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Help us this weekend, oh my God, that the floods of your grace reach to the altar of the hearts of men let our hearts begin to conceive give us the capacity to begin to conceptualize the grand vision that you intend to implement in our time by all means grant that the least among our numbers will become as strong as David in Jesus mighty name we pray amen Welcome someone as you take your seat. God bless you in Jesus' name. The old world worked. There were laws that guard and regulated the old world. It will interest you to know that no matter how 
intoxicated about your abilities you are, no matter how self-conscious you are, you are not the best thing that has happened to the world. It will also interest you to know. In fact, let me give an illustration just to help the arrogant heart, which is the normal disposition of man. When you board a flight, when you are approaching the aircraft, it will look very big. When you enter, you will realize that you are, you are a tiny bit. Because that thing that looks big, when it begins to gain a certain level of height, including the world, including your city, including Kaduna State, including everything that once looked so big, the more you gain height, the, the, the smaller the size of the things that once hold sway in your heart. Then you will look from up and you, you will see that whole city like a dot. This is, this is just height with men, not with beings of the immortal realm. I don't know what you are proud about, but believe me, you are inconsequential. In the face of real trade in the spirit, you will realize you can't buy anything worthwhile with that thing that is making you to settle down. I'm speaking because there are arrogant minds that cannot even embrace God. They think that they are better than God. They feel like God is a disadvantage. God is for the poor. God is for poor, those who have failed in life. I remember loving Jesus on campus and people were asking me about my result because they thought that there must be something wrong with your academic performance. That's why you would draw to God like this. They associate God with disadvantages. They always believe that you have tried every other thing and the doors were locked. Then you now, you now lift up your eyes to the hills and they don't know, they don't know. In this kingdom, we show strength by bringing our crowns to God. So although you are a king, you are a king with men, but when you come before him, you lay down your crown. It's, it's another act of worship that you can, you can prosper with the abilities, with the various capacity God has measured into your vessel, and then carry everything that men give to you as an accolade and kneel down before his presence. We are the salt of the earth. It is because of us that the world has not been thrown into reckless abandonment. It is because of us corruption has not swept through the ages. When we live in the rapture, you will see what will happen. <laughs> I know you are, you are living your life without Jesus now and you think it's, the reason why you are enjoying your life is because we are around. If we live, <laughs> you will run to the mountains. The mountains will deny you. Tonight, I want, I want everybody to submit their hearts, even as the Holy Ghost will lay claim on what is His. I said I wanted to say something about the old world. I got distracted. I, I, I will still say it. In the old world, the age passed. There were certain ordinances that guarded creation. Part of it and part of the capacity fashioned into creation is the ability to gauge the level of sin that has prospered on the face of the earth. And so when men begin to walk in sin, walk in sin, you will, you, you will see different metaphors communicated to capture that, that same description. In fact, for Sodom and Gomorrah, the Bible says their sin has reached heaven. That is, they are trying to rate the kind of sin that that happens around the earth and its impact on the decisions of the heavens. So based on that scene that has gotten so much attention that heaven needed to send certain ambassadors to come and look. Go and check where this polluted incense is rising from. The men that came to look, Sodom and Gomorrah men said they wanted to sleep with them. It is these people's the, is their result that will de determine whether the, you will be judged or not and the, the examiners came and you hey then Lot was begging them, they say no Lot gave them his own daughters, they say no you know when you want to die even though God wants to save you <laughs> you hi. those same people that had this very you know very dangerous interaction there was a watcher among men who also had the capacity to interact with them 
and him he was interacting based on his good nature so he saw certain men walking and he said you look tired come and have rest in my place eat refresh before you continue your journey as at then the gauge of iniquity had exceeded its bound this is why nature can rebel against man when you when you begin to see floods earthquakes i want to show you why they gave you these signs as the part of the signs of the end meaning that when iniquity abound there are certain things that accompany that nature of of iniquity exceeding its bound you begin to see the laws and ordinance that cut the earth it they too will start they will start going out of course so you will find that in scripture although the bible said there is a boundary he gave to the water any day the water exceeds this boundary the water is trying to communicate a message that there is injustice the law of god has not been upheld so we too we will not follow law again anytime nature begin to go out of its course it is a it is a subconscious message they are passing that since you have refused to keep the principal law of our creator we too we cannot honor you and so the flood was one of the most successful way that the system cleans itself it won't be god that will say we are terminating the whole thing is that the earth will, will start will start rebelling it will be rebelling to an extent that it it needs to cleanse the slate and so in that attempt god needed to put some ordinance in the new age and the new age began immediately after the flood that's the post flood era because the whole world was wiped by the flood of noah and a, and a new age began with noah and his children that new age that began there was a new detail god factored into creation one of the detail was the law of seed time and harvest if you are with me say amen, amen. And so the very statement of god is as long as the earth remains now seed time and harvest cold and heat winter and summer cold day and night shall not cease meaning that we will no longer allow the iniquity of men and the you know um the scene that prospers across different regions to push us into wiping the slate completely it will now be regulated by seed time and harvest seed time means whatsoever you sow you that sow it in this same life you will reap the fruit of your harvest so there is a system of judgment that will make sure that the wicked receives a just recompense of his actions even while he is alive so that there is no need to cleanse the whole slate again so they created a system of customized judgment for everybody it is seed time that different religions in their various ways to inquire about certain laws that they can find consistent in the annals of history they found and they began to call names like karma how many of you have heard that it's just basically around whatsever you sow, you worry. Now there are people sitting here. We really have not embraced the full gospel. This particular scripture I'm reading out for you, it will remain true till Jesus comes. What you sow, God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that's what he will reap. There are people today, if you check their prayer points, check their book of expectations, check their aspiration, their goals, it is totally in contrast to the seed they are sowing today. Their way of life today does not reflect what they say they are trusting their tomorrow to look like. And tomorrow is the harvest of today's seed because there is a new ordinance that regulates this age. is seed time and harvest. You know what Satan does? Maybe you've gone to a deliverance arrangement and then they are praying, praying, praying for the person and it seems like there's no response, no reaction, no particular spirit is being casted out. Yet the person is still under affliction. 
of all the things you can bind, you can't bind ordinance. You can't, you can't push it back. The only thing you have to use to, to remove yourself from the repercussion of your own action, it is only through the economy of mercy. And it is only God that will show you mercy. But if you come with, with the claim of justice, you will fall because that particular law will show that it is only fair. It is only fair. In fact, the wages of sin is death. Since that is already a requirement, that is why God needed to die. So that when they put demand as regarding why you are claiming salvation, there must be an account that somebody also died since the wages of sin is death. God had to meet that claim too. Now in the light of this issue around seed time and harvest, Satan will cause for the totality of our youth to be an adventure in rebellion. You will transgress many laws and then the average young man will say, let me settle down now. You don't know, you don't know. The fact that you decided to change your ways, if you are not intentional about undoing, this is why so many people will be surprised the children they will give birth to. You don't need to be cursed. Nobody needs to enforce that law. It's an ordinance. I can see the silence in the hall now. The next time Satan presents a temptation your way, the next time you are tempted to become envious, to become jealous, to slander somebody's name, you are tempted to add and contribute your voice in pulling somebody down. Remember, it's a seed. It's a seed. The next time you have an opportunity to say something nice about somebody during a point where he could have, he could have experienced a transition and you chose by yourself to just keep quiet. Somebody met me and asked me about a sister in this ministry. And I said, you seem to know much about her already because he told me name, told me her tribe, told me, you know, uh, her, her education background and all that. I said, you, you seem to know so much already. You don't need any other uh, advice from me. With what you know, there is nothing left <laughs> to be said on this matter. He said, the reason why I came to meet you is because of some of the things I've been hearing. Please look at me. Look at me. I'm pleading with you. There is a natural disposition of the fallen, the fallen nature of man. Even when you have given your life to Jesus, from time to time, you will still catch yourself trying to be carnal. For example, the carnal heart always feels a bit troubled when somebody he perceives to be his mate becomes more successful than him. He interprets it as his own failure. That, that kind of thinking is the nature of the fallen man. That nature will try. The reason is that that point where somebody's success became visible around you, it is also a window of opportunity for you. But the carnal heart cannot maximize that opening. He will instead fight something that should be a season that can open up for his own life. He would instead go back and begin to become moody with God and say, what about me? And when God sees that kind of heart, I am saying that there are only few things that demons do. Only few things that Satan do. It is laws, laws that are responsible for many outcomes of the life of people. There are many families that are complaining about people not rising, people are stagnated. Go and check, go and check and look at them carefully. There is little or nothing Satan can do without invoking the ordinance that God creation. One of the things Satan will do anywhere you find poverty, anywhere you find stagnation and lack, Go and look carefully. You will find that there are spirits on ground making sure that those people will dishonor time. How many students or how many of us graduated here from various institutions, you know sitting here that your result is not a true reflection of your true capacity. You knew that if you put in more effort, which is your use of time, that you could have done better. But for different stages of your life, you continue to underperform. Tomorrow, everybody in the family will gather and say, look at us. What they are trying to say is, see, the, see what we have in common. But they will never show you the parts that... What these spirits want is, they, they push you to violate a law so that the repercussion of that law will come. When the repercussion come, if you like, call the name of Jesus. The, it's not a spirit that is behind it. It is you who trigger the reaction. So you will need the mercy of God. 
I am sharing these things because too many arrogant people are busy blaming God and say, I've been praying for years, nothing has happened. Or God, you will need to ask God for mercy because many of the things we go through, we have a finger in it. You see, this is why we pray sometimes for years and it looks like the mountain is not moving. Could it be that you have not found the key? Could it be that you are coming claiming rights? And when you come claiming rights, ordinances will present their proofs too. And say, okay, since it's about this. I want us to appreciate that economy of mercy. That's why I'm teaching what I'm teaching. In my family, I found out that all, all of us, the children, there were certain traits we all had in common. I found out that there is this tendency to give ourselves to entertainment easily. So back then, I don't know, maybe because of the church we came from, they prohibited watching of television for a long time. So when the coast became clear, we started abusing it. <laughs> so you just wait until my parents step out. Once they step out, seasonal movies from morning. I've also found out that it is within my own control now. Having seen the tendency that I have on my inside that I can give myself. Some of you, you hold your phone like this. You will raise your head. It's now evening. And nothing, nothing, nothing entered your heart and said, what have you done with today? There are spirits that continue to convince you that you can always do it later. Later. Even when you gather yourself and you want to focus and do that thing which you ought to do. Whatsoever your hand find it to do. No, the spirit will say, uh, why are you wasting your time reading? You know you. Your own style is you like to read under tension. That's how you, you normally pass. Let me tell you one truth. Nobody, nobody does well under tension. The fact that you could, you could gather much under tension is a reflection that if you took your time, you will be better. But then the spirit come and say, ha, there's no need. You, remember now. So you wait until one week to exam. You now take next cave and cook. And stay in the class from night till morning. Then you still go and you probably came out with a C. Or you know, and that person, I'm telling you, if he gave his time diligently, that capacity that can bring a C out of one week labor, if he was committed diligently, I'm telling you he's an A student. The spirits will not let you. Your time is under attack. And you will not know your time is under attack until you sit down and, and take an appraisal of the various days that have become weeks, that have become months, that have become years. Then you will see years of idleness. Nothing was done. Having said this, I want us to ask God for mercy. If there's any part, any breakthrough, any delay around my life, based on something I have dishonored, based on laws I have refused to obey, based on laws I have transgressed, look upon me with mercy, O oh God, and let your mercy speak for me. Even this night, grant me encounters that I would never forget, but by all means, show me mercy. Please go ahead and pray. Go ahead and ask the Lord. I discern, I discern that God wants to change the narrative. But this is the way we will approach him. We will approach him in brokenness. Show me mercy. If you are here 
and you are under the attack the spirit of procrastination continues continues to arrest your use of time please cry for mercy opportunities opportunities that should have opened up if you prepared better opportunities that you probably missed because preparation was not done well and you were not sharp in the day of your appointment ask the Lord show me mercy show me mercy relationships that were ruined ruined on account of our lack of discernment we could not discern that this is the finger of God visiting me and so we became pompous and arrogant we fought with people we should have apologized to Lord show me mercy I know there is mercy with you don't look at me and let me waste like this oh God I don't know who should remember you. I don't know who must remember you so that, so that something good can be channeled your way. But cry for mercy. Mistakes, mistakes of yesterday that continues to show up every time the king sent for you. Mistakes that continue to come up every time your name... Some of you are the reflections. You are the reflection of the mistake of another generation. Vow this evening, I will not repeat that same trend. Lord, don't let my iniquity have any impact on my generation. Show me mercy. See if there be any wicked way in me. Lead me in the way everlasting. His hands are not too short that he cannot deliver. Neither are his ears dull that he cannot hear. But our iniquity have separated between us and our God. This is why we took this route. We want to check. We want to x-ray. We want to search if there be anything capable of stopping God from moving in our direction. Take it away, oh God. Take it away. I don't want to continue trying a mist. I don't want to continue saying I'm going through process. Brother, sister, it might not be process. It might just be delay. Delay on account of a transgression, a law that has been violated. Lord, I don't come claiming right anymore. Just show mercy. 
I don't know what is wrong. I don't know what has happened. I don't know the real explanation behind my predicament. But show mercy. This was the prayer of blind Bartimaeus. He knows he was blind, but he did not ask for sight. He cried, show mercy, son of David, have mercy upon me. Because he didn't know, he didn't know. There was a doctrine in his days that it is because of the sin of his parents. That was why he was born blind. And so he began to cry, I don't know who sinned. I don't know where the sin came from, but show me mercy. I don't know. I don't know the storyline. I don't want to know what happened. I don't know what my ancestors did. But oh God, show me mercy. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. He will give us the sure mercies of David. The sure mercies of David. The sure mercies of David. It is good that we rend our hearts before God. It is good that we pour ourselves out as an offering. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 4 verse 8 the Bible speaking in Matthew chapter 4 verse 8 it says the devil take it, him him Jesus now up into an exceeding high mountain and the purpose for taking Jesus to that location is to show him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them Please, if you are with me, say amen. amen. So I began to inquire of the Lord, what is Satan's aim of going through the stress of taking Jesus to a location first? The reason for that location is because